and they're gonna do the first pitch. Oh, they're gonna be at a baseball game? Yeah. Hi friends, host Eric here talking with fans people and sergeant on the type police. I've got a perp underneath my badge here. And uh he pur purports to be an INFJ. As you see I've got him pulled over um the side of the road here. And welcome to another exciting episode of Type of Police. Try as you might, you just can't type. Cause you're Miss Type. And I've been waiting to pull you over all night. Type Police. Type Police. Please pull that guy over. Okay, well, welcome back to Type Police, and I have to remember to, that you do things differently. I try to make it so that it's a little less choppy in the... Try as you might. <laughs> you just <laughs> having some problems here today. All right, here's the guy. His name's the Awakened INFJ. He's only got 15 videos, but he's already got 200 subscribers. That's, that's pretty impressive. Uh... Subscriber, subscriber to video ratio. Well, I mean, Kim, my subscriber to video ratio has never been better than it is right now, which is about one to one. Do you consider them your family? <laughs> my little family members. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's like a little family. It's like you guys are my little family members. Who was it who said that? <laughs> I forget. Anyway, uh, let's watch some of this guy and see how it goes. back again um, so this this is gonna be hard to do it this way might be a bit of a shorter video for once if I don't get in into a TI ramble of mine so, um, my inspiration for just doing this sort of quick upload, which came basically out of nowhere, uh, instead of actually having something in mind, it just came to me via uh, this Facebook uh, thing. I was a couple of days ago and doing um, MBTI group or rather an INFJ group um, which is called INFJ Sweden uh, which I just found out about and I joined it. I wrote um, And then, um, two, three days ago, I wrote this post about how, how, how they are going about this group overall and All right, hopefully that results in sharing links if someone is upload, like doing some content that they are sharing uh, with each other, like we are doing here in our little YouTube community. Uh, so I was asking if someone has something to show, if they have some creative outlet of some kind, and if it's okay to share links overall in the group, and if so, that I could share my YouTube channel just for you know, spreading the message of the uh, INFJs, like communicating and uh, expressing and growing and sharing experiences and such. So, uh, yeah, that was basically what I was asking. Um, so, uh, I yeah, I got some responses and I ended up, to uh, summarize that first point, um, I ended up posting 
uh, the link to my YouTube channel, this channel, and uh, I noticed that uh, one of the Swedes uh, liked it. She watched my Q and A video and she could relate a lot, and that's a lot of fun. <laughs> I think we, um, as we ramble on about things that we, how we value things, how we think about things, I think uh, finding Jace can, and other people too. Uh, can can find things in common and it can be pretty funny. You can laugh about it. I I sure do oftentimes <laughs> uh, with MI dumps overall. Like he's such a sweet. Um I don't know, I'm gonna have to watch some more of this. My initial <laughs> thoughts are I need to watch more. That's my initial thought, I guess. I'm TJ's or I'm Jay's. And that was, uh, so, to the point for once, let's have some blind TE trying in here. Uh, the point of this <laughs> video is basically that I also have this other comment which um, goes something like this. I didn't, um, what is it called? The, my answer, I didn't make it in English here, but uh, uh, one of the comments from when I shared my link, um, and this is the point of this video, um, it goes like this part here. I think you can see it on screen, I hope so. Uh, her answer, her comment was, I find it incredibly, incredibly exciting that an INFJ has a YouTube channel. It's just like shouting for attention, help, or like that you're reaching out for attention. Uh, and then she also added, never ever in my lifetime would I have a YouTube channel and, op and even go as far as offer people a link to it. Um, how different we are anyway. So uh, just stop here for a second, close your eyes if you have to. And think about that for a few couple of seconds. What gets into your mind? What do you think about that? Okay. First off, I is it are the type you are as a personality or ego, is that supposed to be you know coming to the understanding of that? you have a certain personality type, for this example, like you, you're in a certain box of some kind in the society, there are so many of them, is that supposed to limit you? Or is that supposed to enhance your experience of life and build yourself up? Because you see, what we find on okay, IJ forums or personality forums overall, is that most people use their personality type as excuse okay it's paused i guess says we're not do <sighs> okay so so if i didn't know i was an NJ, let's say for example uh pause god damn it uh, there so he's he's faced an fe attack Right, that's definitely an epi attack. It's him. It's somebody challenging him on whether or not he's an INFJ. Interestingly, he's responded with a teleological response, which is a TE kind of a thing, saying, "Well, what's this thing actually supposed to be used for anyway? Are you supposed to box yourself with it, or are you supposed to liberate yourself with it, or or what?" Um, it's an interesting response because he's doing his his own sort of INFJ epi attack here. And it's shrouded in uh, in new aginess, which I think is funny. Um, I, I think I, I'm I'm leaning towards INFJ on this guy because of the way he's trying to play this shit. Kim, would you have any thoughts about the way he's trying to play this shit? Uh, no. Okay, let me push play again. Let me make this a little smaller. I'm trying to not overload the processor here. I need a new something or other to make videos on, but somebody said I needed a new video card. And I, um, for my whole life, let's say I get to 35 years old and I live in a certain way, I can do things. I don't 
I'm not aware of certain limitations that are stereotypical for a certain personality trait or a certain type. Uh, but if I find out, studying for a couple of months, relate to my own experience, and then all of a sudden go about, hmm, well, I can't do this and that, or I'm mad at this and that, so I won't do it anymore, or I won't do it at all. Um, if we do that, there's no positive point to have experience or... Alright, I want to comment on this. I've heard this argument before, <coughs> that people use typology to excuse themselves and their limitations. And that's one of the risks of, of understanding oneself as a type. I call bullshit on that. I've never actually seen anybody do that. The example he's given is not an example of somebody doing that. It's an example of somebody saying, you know, well, what's happening, in my opinion here, is a complex INFJ, INFJ, FE battle, which he's attempting to win by basically pathologizing in a new age way the other person's um, attack by saying this is reflective of your own uh, boxing self-boxing limitations and it's not a good way to use MBTI. It's kind of like uh, he's assuming the, the position he wants to be ascendant here and and just hoping that that assumption will be sufficient to win the to win the point, which is fine in an FE battle anyway, because it's just FE. <laughs> so, I'm leaning towards INFJ, I'm going to give him a little bit longer, and uh, then after that I'm probably going to let this guy go. But, uh, here we go. Haven't have understood that you are a certain personality type. You know, it, yeah, it's, it becomes a negative thing. Something that holds the person back from living life. Then it's a very negative thing. So, in terms of MTI, for example, in this case MTI, it's not of any use to you or anyone else if you allow your... Uh, rather, if you limit yourself to certain stereotypical traits of a certain ego, Type. It's absolutely. I'm not. Uh, no, also, I'm not. Not at all discrediting the individual, uh, subjective individual in this case, because she also was saying this thing about that is incredibly exciting, and she, uh, of course, knowing she's not. There's the TI backpedal defense thing that INFJs do. Now, oh, it just occurred to me that somebody might object on this ground, so. Oh, now, let me, let me do a little TI defense here. That's, I think this guy's an INFJ. Do you have any thoughts, Ken? No? Okay. Well, I'm going to let him go. So, you're free to, you're free to go, sir. Uh, you're, I, I think an INFJ, you could have maybe potentially tried to argue ENFJ, but I don't, I don't see ENFJ because, well, it's like Demon Windu one time said in a comment, you can identify an ENFJ by number of advices given per minute. <laughs> he's not giving a lot of advices, right? He's he's executing a plan here. So, okay, uh, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to eat plenty of cheese and be safe out there. Try as you might, you just can't hide, cause you're mistyped. And I've been waiting to pull you over all night Type police Type police Please pull that guy over He says he's my MTP But seems extroverted sensing to me I think he's ESFP Or type police